the protesters as far as the eye can see in Belarus, as anti-government demonstrators formed a 13-kilometer-long human chain in the capital of Minsk, creating a link between a memorial to Soviet repression and the jail where protesters are being detained and some severely beaten. Hundreds of protesters have been injured since the start of the demonstrations, but despite the risk, the exiled opposition candidate Svetlana Tikhonovskaya urged protesters not to give up. She's calling for fresh elections, but doesn't plan on running again herself. Future Belarus а значит и будущее наших детей зависит сейчас от вашего единства и вашей решительности. Поэтому я прошу вас, продолжайте и расширяйте забастовки. Не ведитесь на запугивание. Объединяйтесь. New demonstrations are slated for this week, but some Belarusians do support Lukashenko, with thousands of people attending a pro-government rally in the city of Brest on Friday. In Mali, there was...